Hello friends, I'm on your screen with a new video and this video is all about one grammar topic and then that is an ergative verb. This is our today's topic, an ergative verb. Uh, hope you may have heard about this. If not, don't worry. I'm here to make it clear what kind of verb it is. The grammar. But before we move to this verb, let's understand or let's see. Let's recall main verb. And I know you all know what is a main verb here. And why I want to talk about main verb, let's say. Uh, when I talk about this main verb, then on the basis of object, we can categorize this into two parts. One, we say transitive, transitive verb. In short, we say TV. Mm, but what thing? This is transitive. This is TV, transitive verb. Exactly the same way, another is intransitive intransitive verb and in such we say IV yes we say IV two types are on the basis of the object the verb text say it means when we are saying transitive verb it is always to take an object always say this object is compulsory. But here, if we are to use object with an intransitive verb, then wrong because intransitive verb never takes an object. So, main verb either takes an object or does not take an object. So it is clear. Let's take an example. If we share it, I need that. Okay. Broke my pen. Now, this is Bob. Okay. And we know this Bob has taken its object. This is an object. So this verb is a, is a transitive verb. And we are to focus on this part as well. Now right now this part is a subject. And this is also here isn't. This is an isn't because this person has performed a kind of action and that is writing. So, this is a performer, this is an absent subject. So, bring this verb into present verb. Or let's say, this verb broke, whether what performed is. So, this verb broke is a transitive verb because it has taken its object too. Now, if I write the same sentence now like that, my pain broke. Now, I mean here I have the verb, but this time here no object. Because here this verb doesn't have object. Now you see, you may think, oh, the shame pain I have it in here. Mm, yes. Of uh, course, this I have brought here in the position of because here if we talk about the function of this part in this sentence, then this is a subject of the sentence. But do you think it is an agent? As an if I is an agent here? If we think so, whether the pain is an absent, then it is not an agent, but it is a subject. 
In this sentence, Anita and Sadiq and is an adjective because she has performed an action. But here, this pain hasn't. Okay, it means here, if we talk about, then actually somebody has performed an action and that action has been experienced by this one, so exactly this is a concept. So, this is what the main thing is here. If we talk about this, okay, at the underlying structure, then this is a passage, but in this sentence, this has function as a subject. We should not be confused here. Okay. Here, Anita is subject and is an agent. This is object or you can say this is a passage means this has experienced the action performed by the subject so the same has brought here okay exactly the same way as we do in the passive voice okay yes so here but in this sentence of course this is a subject here it's not an object passive means object as here it is so here it is not an action Function is a subject, but at an underlying structure is a passage. Now, so it is never an asset, never an asset. Okay. And then mention something like intransitive verb. Because we have that intransitive verb never picks an object. It has also no object, so intransitive verb. The shape of we say objective verb. Objective verb. Yes, objective. Now, you may be thinking, okay, then what is the difference between objective and intransitive verb? I said that. Because I have written intransitive verb in objective verb, objective verb too. Yes, this is a confusing point. You may be thinking, and of course, you may have a confusion here. But don't be confused. I'm just giving an example that will make it clear. And intransitive verb and an objective verb both are themselves. Here you may be getting a fist. Here, no object, intransitive, and then objective. Why objective? Because this verb has allowed its object to be the subject of another sentence. So, objective verb is always to allow its object to be the subject in the end of the sentence. So, object has become subject. Therefore, it is called an objective verb, no object, intransitive verb. You may be thinking, but it is object. No, object never comes before verb, it always comes after. So there is no object. It is a subject. Now, let's see. Again, confusion is there between intransitive and objective. Let's get into the example. In the example is, I might write John. Slips. Okay. Simply add to this. John slips. Now you see, again here, the verb is. This is a verb. Right? This is a verb that is a main verb. Now, it doesn't have its object. Market. So, again, intransitive verb never takes any object. So, this is an intransitive verb. Then you will think, okay, intransitive, intransitive. Then objective verb, you may be thinking, this is an objective verb too. This is an objective verb. But now see, this is not an objective verb. Now, are you sure they are same or different? Same. If still that, think about this. Here is the thing that will make you clear. I said this is an intransitive but not objective because it doesn't have object. Again, this doesn't have object, intransitive and objective. So here both are okay, this is okay and this is okay. But here is equally okay. Now this is again confusing. So this confusion will be right away when we consider this and this.
What is the function of this part in this sentence? Subject. This is subject. You are sure. And who has performed this action? Who has performed this action? Verb John. Performed. John has performed this action. So performer is an agent. Mark it. John is a subject and John is an agent. Now here. My pay is a subject, but is it an agent? No. Right? Therefore, though it is transitive, it can also be called an objective verb. It is a same transitive, but it can never be called an objective verb because its subject is an agent. Its subject is never an agent. Because agent is something else, somebody else is here. Because the pay itself doesn't break. Somebody is there, something is there that breaks somebody. So agent is somebody. Here is, for example, Anita is an agent. Okay. So, in simple language now, what you can say, an objective verb allows its object to be a subject. An example, say, um, the sun melts ice. Mark it. Sun melts ice. And I write another sentence ice melts. Mark it. I can hear. Mess. Mess. Chamber. Okay. Here, this is an object. This is a subject. Right? So, now, ice is here melting. It is all because of the sun. So, sun, it has function as an ascent. Okay, and then you can say this is a transitive of atom because its object is here. I'm going to say this doesn't have object. This doesn't have object. This is an intransitive of, and it is also an objective of. Why? Why it is an objective of? It's because ice, this part, is here subject, no doubt. This is a subject, but this is not the ascent. <clears throat> this is not the ascent. Therefore, melts, this is either you can say or a transitive or objective. Better to say this one. Melts in the sentence is an objective verb. How? This video may have become a bit longer. But this is a new verb, I think. So to make it clear, I needed to explain in this way. That's it. If you have become clear what is an objective verb, then I will stand that my input has been meaningful. Thank you this much. If this is not clear, still is there any confusion, do not forget to comment. Thank you.